ओम सदाशिव समारंभम शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा ओके वी कंप्लीटेड द सेकंड चैप्टर लास्ट टाइम एनी क्वेश्चंस क्लैरिफिकेशंस बिफोर आई एंटर द थर्ड चैप्टर Okay, it looks like people are clear about it. Simple, okay. So, Swami ji. Yeah. Uh, could you just explain the Arthangini Karan again? I am not very clear about it. About what? Arthangini Karan and the Arthangini Karan. Arthang. Karan. Arthangini Karan. What is that? Yes. I don't know. I've written it in the twenty-sixth verse. We were talking about twenty-sixth verse. Okay, one second. Second chapter, twenty-sixth verse, right? When you are talk, uh, explaining this, I think you use this term, and I am not very clear about. At the chay chay nam nitya jatham nityam va manne se amrutam. That one. Okay, what is the what is the word? Ardhangi karan. I may have written it wrong, you know, but I am not. Ardhangi ka. There is no karanam called ardhangi karan. Then uh, maybe it was ardhangi something else, but I just catch it. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> you get me the right word. I'll give you the explanation. Ardhangi karan. Ardhangi karan. Ardhangi karan. अर्ध अंगीकार ओके ओके अर्ध अंगीकार अंगीकार मीन टू एक्सेप्ट अर्ध अंगीकार मीन ए पार्शियल एक्सेप्ट नॉट कंप्लीट एक्सेप्ट ओके अर्ध अंगीकार कारण इज कार लॉर्ड ऑफ मीनिंग चेंजेस यू नो Like you pray to the Devi in this thing, there is a verse which says Nasika. Someone, with, uh, the Devi is a person with a beautiful nose. Instead of Nasika, you invoke her as Nashika. She'll destroy everything. <laughs> so meaning changes with you know one thing here, one thing there is enough to change the complete meaning. So when you say Ardhangi Karanam, I was wondering what Karanam is that? There is no Karanam like that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Now the third chapter, you know, Krishna speaks a lot in the second chapter. I mean, after all his teaching, so he will speak a lot. <laughs> you must have paused for a breath. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think this is clear enough. When Arjuna starts a question, <laughs> okay. So the third chapter starts with a question. अर्जुन उवाच जायसी चेत्कर्मण ते मत्ता बुद्धिर्जनादन तंकि कर्मण घोरे मोजसी केशव व्यामश्रेण वाक्यन बुद्ध मोहयसी वे तदेक वद निश्चि येन श्रेयमवाप्यहम सी फ्रम वॉट आई हव हर्ड अप टू नाउ ज्ञानम जेयसी जाय जायसी चेत कर्मण ते मत बुद्धि बुद्धि जायसी चेत मीनिंग नॉलेज फॉर मोक्ष नॉलेज इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन कर्म ज्ञान ज्ञान तो मोक्ष दिस वाज एस्टाब्लिश वेरी क्लियरली इन द सेकंड चैप्टर ओके हे जनार्दन देन तत्म घोरे कर्मणि माम नियोजसी हे केशव वाय आर यू इंपेलिंग मी इन टू दिस घोर कर्म बिकॉज यू से ना यू से 
Uttishta Parantapaha, etc. You have said. On one side, you are saying knowledge is the important thing. Without knowledge, there is no moksha. Okay, TK. May Rishike Shela Jata. Because knowledge. Hai. Then why are you asking me to do this ghora karma? Not ordinary karma. Not simple thing like looking after your parents or going to work in the morning or something like that. Gora karma, I have to kill my kith and kin, slaughter them all. What is this? He says, Vyam shrena iva vakyena. Words that seem to be mixed up. Sentences that seem to be mixed up. He is not accusing Krishna of confusing him. He says, but I am confused. Vyam shrena iva vakyena. Buddhi mohayasi iva me. It is as though my buddhi is being completely deluded. Okay. Therefore, tada ekam vada nishchityam yena shreyam avapyaham. Tell me one thing, they will give me shreyas. Don't say this is also good, that is also good. Hey, sab maat maat kodha. I have accepted you as Lord and Master. I am a soldier. Give me clear cut orders. <laughs> yeah. What is it they'll take me to Moksha? Shreyas. I will do it. Yeah. Tell me what is it. If you are saying by karma you'll gain moksha, I'll slaughter all these guys. But you seem to say by knowledge only I'll gain moksha. Then why should I slaughter these guys? Because I have made it very clear what I want is moksha, nothing else. Beginning of the second chapter, remember? Sushyasteham shadi maam tvam prapannaha. Teach me. Shadi maam. Upadesha. Upadesham guru. Yeah, teach me. So, He is looking for a clear-cut order from Krishna. And Krishna refuses to do that. Why? Krishna is not playing the role of a commander-in-chief. If he was playing the role of a supreme commander of the Pandava forces, he would have said something differently. But that's not what he is doing here. He is playing the role of a teacher. A teacher may guide, he may even direct, he will not command. <laughs> because the decision has to be the students. If it is a question of what to do, that decision the student has to take. How to make the decision, the teacher will tell him. What are the understanding necessary to make that decision? That can be said. Okay. All right. Yeah, that can be said. So he says, you understood the question, no? Arjuna's question is very clear. Should I stay, fight this battle? Should I walk off and learn? What was necessary to learn? Shravanam, Mananam, Nididhyasanam, all that. What was what necessary? Okay. Yeah. Therefore, what? Krishna refuses that. The answer is elaborate. Why? How do you make the decision? That is important. So he says, Sri Bhagavanu, and not only that, this is a dilemma that will affect every stu serious student at some time or the other. At some time or the other, every serious student of Vedanta will be confronted with this question. Should I become a full-time student or not? If you are a committed student, this question will come up in your life. Am I fit for it? Should I? Should I not? Can I do it? Am I ready for it? Am I not ready for it? Will my health permit it? All these questions will come up. 
Yeah. At this stage of my life, is it okay for me to do it? If these questions have not come up in your mind, check your commitment. Yeah. No, no, this question never come up in my mind. <laughs> if you are a committed student, you can't help having these questions. Yeah. You may decide to continue with your life. You may decide to walk out. That is a different pattern. What you decide is a material. But the question will come up. If you are really a committed student, question will come up. At this stage in my life, can I take a break and to do a course? Six months, one year, is it possible? <laughs> Am I ready for it? Am I fit for it? All these things will come up. Yeah. It's natural. Yeah. You might say, no, 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 I have too much of responsibilities. That's okay. That such a decision is perfectly fine. Yeah. Or no, no, I'm not ready for it. That's okay. No, no, I'll do it later. That's okay. No, I don't think I can do it this lifetime. That's okay. The answer is fine. If the question has come up or not is a question. Yeah. Okay. So, Krishna answers. Sri Bhagavan Vacha Lokesmin Dividanishta Pura Prokta Mayanagha Jnana Yogena Sankhyanam Karma Yogena Yoginam Krishna answers. He Anagha, one who is sinless. Papa Nirmukta. Okay. He says, Loke Asmin, Asmin Loke, Manusha Loke, the, the human beings, he says, Divida Nishtaha Pura Prokta. Pura, eva, Pura meaning olden times, Sarga Kale, <laughs> time of creation itself. Pura, eva, Prokta, I have said what? Two lifestyles, two Nishtas. Two nishtas, two lifestyles. Okay. What is that? Jnana yogena sankhyanam. Sankhyanam. Sanyasinam. Jnana yogena. Karma yogena yoginam. And for the yogis, karma yoga. There are only two lifestyles. Now you have to understand this properly. Krishna explains it more, but before that, some understanding has to be done. Jnana eva tu kaivalyam. Knowledge itself is moksha. Therefore, what is important is the knowledge. Two lifestyles to pursue this knowledge. One is the sannyasa lifestyle. What are you doing? Nothing but pursuing the knowledge. Or Krishna. There is nothing else in your life. Yeah. What do you do in the morning when you get up? After your bath, etc. Meditate for some time. Then attend a class. Then attend another class. Then have a discussion with them. Then go for bhiksha. Then attend another class. Then one more class, then go for a walk, then arti in the temple, then some discussion with people around you, then go to meditate, then go to sleep, then get up, then meditate. Then Your whole life is centered around knowledge. Or good name. Somebody, what were you doing in Rishikesh? This is what I was doing. Or <laughs> One of my friends is a uh, writer. So she told me one. Swamiji, I want to write some stories about you in Rishikesh. You won't find it interesting. Before Rishikesh, what I had done, you may find it interesting. Rishikesh, you won't find it interesting. Why? Whole day I was studying only. Or kya? 
Nothing but studies and studies and studies. You think your readers will find interest? <laughs> no drama, nothing. Kachu <laughs> nahi, eh? There's nothing. Yeah. Only learning, teaching, learning. After some time, along with learning, there was one class I used to take also. For my junior batch who came there. No bus. It nahi tha. What else is there? Nothing else. So what is the big thing? There is no drama. There is no drama, nothing. You won't find anything of great interest. Okay, what about the other lifestyle? Other lifestyle is because of two reasons. One, responsibilities. Second, desires. Both are there. So you pursue the knowledge along with everything else in life. You have your family, you have your work, you have your desire, you have your commitments. You take care of all of that with Karma Yoga Buddhi, Ishara Arpanam Prasada Buddhi. You take care of that and you pursue knowledge. Pursuing knowledge is common in both. So when you are a Karma Yogi, you may attend a couple of classes a week. If you are a sannyasi, you are attending 3-4 classes a day. It's not a problem. There are people in the waiting room. Okay, thanks Janavi. I don't know why it didn't show up in my this thing. Thanks, Janavi, for keeping an eye on that because it is not showing up on my screen. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> so, this is all there is there. Pursuit of knowledge is common for both the lifestyles. Sannyasa is an exclusive pursuit of knowledge. Karma Yoga is an all-inclusive pursuit of knowledge. Depends on two things. First and foremost, your readiness. That's important. How ready you are. It's like going on the expressway. Is your car in good condition? Tires are okay, brakes are working fine. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because you are going at 120 miles an hour, kilometers an hour. So you have to have a car which can take it. Yeah. Car meaning here, your mind. <laughs> or take the scenic route. Karma Yoga. Enjoy the things in life. And pursue the knowledge along with that. That is all. There are only two lifestyles. What about Bhakti Yoga? What do you mean by Bhakti Yoga? Bhakti Yoga means various actions associated with Bhakti, isn't it? North India will be bhajan singing, South India will be pujas and things like that. So what do you do? Only those activities? Yes, sannyasa lifestyle. No, no, I have family, I do other things also. Karma yoga lifestyle. Some of I am a hatha yogi. So you stand on your head all day long? No, no, I do various things like practicing yoga, asana, pranayama, all that, all that, all that, meditations, everything. Okay, good. Only that? Yes, Swamiji, only that. No family, no work, no job, no. Sannyasa lifestyle. No, no, I have other things, I have things to do in life besides that. But I take a class every day. Karma yoga lifestyle. There are only two lifestyles. 
if you, any of you have heard there are four paths forget it nahi hai that is i don't know how that myth has come about and the logic is pathetic for it for the intellectual jnana yoga for the emotional bhakti yoga for the active karma yoga and those are not good for any of these things hatha yoga this is a normal logic i can't agree with that this character is an intellectual all the time he is resting in his head give him some bhakti na let his heart open up <laughs> this character is bhakti if you give more, all emotional if you give more bhakti he'll melt strengthen his mind a bit give him something intellectual jnana yoga this guy is active restless hey, are you going to give him more actions give him some hatha yoga quieten him down quieten him down slow slow down this character as it is slow down not doing much make him active give him karma yoga ulta logic hai sir even if you following that four fold path logic it's ulta logic no balance <laughs> there is no four paths the lifestyle is only sanyasa and karma yoga with only with knowledge as the goal that's it for moksha knowledge is the means yeah you can have bhakti in your life you can have karma in your life you can have yoga in your life you can have music in your life you can have you can be a student of the art of war you can be a businessman in your, run a business in your life you can be an entrepreneur but only two lifestyles sanyasa or karma yoga neto that's it there is nothing else krishna saying this has been established from the beginning of time in between they will big bring another thing raja yoga narayana raja naam yoga hai iti raja yoga okay <laughs> the yoga of the kings of what <laughs> that should be the art of war <laughs> or diplomacy <laughs> anyway war is part of diplomacy So, dharana, dhyana, samadhi. They are taken and calling it that part of Ashtanga Yoga. The last three steps they are calling it Raja Yoga. That's all. There is no difference. Then you find, you know, yoga is a multi-billion-dollar industry. So you find all times, Nada Yoga. I know one character, Nada Yoga. Nice guy. Nice guy. but through music and sounds he invoke god knows what he invoke whatever yeah you can invoke some energies some emotions what else you invoke you can't invoke moksha through moksha is atma swarup anyway you have to discover it don't even talk to me about other things hot yoga beer yoga goat yoga and dog yoga and you know when there is a supermarket you have to stand out now for people to come to you so this character came and told me yoga is to be practiced only in a heated room only then you will become very flexible and things like that it has to be hot yoga i said yoga was invented in the himalayas there is no hot room there <laughs> it's cold <laughs> you generate heat in your system through pranayamas <laughs> so all this is supermarkets things are available but they are not 
authentic or traditional okay does it have some use okay it has some use generally people in the cities in our lifestyle we are very stiff not flexible therefore you practicing in a heated room you will get some flexibility easier okay that much i can accept it but to say that is only way yoga has to be practiced is bunkum anyway what i is talking about is only two lifestyles now you decide what you want a life of sanyasa life of karma yoga it's completely dependent upon how much is your commitment to this knowledge first thing how ready you are in terms of your mind are you ready to take up a life of sanyasa it looks romantic it looks glamorous it is not it is not take it from me yeah when i was in rishikesh i don't know where my next meal was coming from whether i would have a next meal you don't know you're going for bhiksha you may not get why the great shankara himself did not get bhiksha one day that's how annapurna ashtakam came up <laughs> So if you don't get food that day, Ekadashi Manu. Today is Ekadashi, fasting day. <laughs> hey, today is Ekadashi. What you called for a bandara? The Lord wants you to eat today. That's it. Don't say it's Ekadashi. How? I remember for a one of our Vedic wisdom festivals, we had ordered food for everyone, and half a dozen characters popped up saying. इस एकादशी वी डोंट ईट पहला बोलने का था ना वी वुड ऑर्डर फूड एंड गो वेस्ट बट सन्यासीज माइंड इज नॉट लाइक दैट नॉट कंडीशन टुडे यू आर इनवाइटेड फॉर अ भंडार द लॉर्ड वॉन्ट्स यू टू फीस्ट टुमोरो यू मे नॉट इवन गेट भिक्षा द लॉर्ड वॉन्ट्स यू टू फास्ट आगते स्वागतम कुरियात गच्छंतम न निवार दिस इज अन्यासी माइंड सेट not easy to have it's a great life if the mind is fine not otherwise how much of your priorities have you taken care of yeah. one of my friends wanted to do a 3 year course he didn't want to take up sanyasa i just wanted to do a 3 year course somebody said i'll take you for 3 months not 3 years somebody i'm ready for it you know that is it yes i know you are ready for your studies you are ready but your daughter is only younger one is only 3 years elder one is 5 years they still need you your responsibilities are there so 3 months is fine his wife was ready no problem so i will take care of things here let him be there with you for 3 years at least some sense will come into his head <laughs> but somji said no because you can't abandon a child will feel abandoned at that age At three and five and all, the child will feel abandoned, not appropriate. So responsibilities. Yeah. Or another lady you may know. Three sisters, two of them had already joined the ashram. The third one also wanted to join. But elderly mother is there who will take care of the mother? you can't say the mother will come to the ashram and i'll take care of her in the ashram yeah, then where is your learning gone where is your learning gone yeah so complete their responsibility then come so it is a fast track sanyasa lifestyle is fast track agreed if you are ready for it if your responsibilities are done with priorities taken care of or not yet picked up you're single you don't need feel the need to get married fine so it's all dependent upon your mindset there have been people who have taken it up and found they were not ready for it that lifestyle now i have no people who took up 
lived a life of sannyasi without taking the robes or sometimes he said no i prefer the other lifestyle that's a question of preference i know their knowledge is fine the, that is only a matter of preference of how do you prefer a lifestyle to be okay or it comes because of certain needs i have told you this i will always tell this story because i want people to understand this well this was a time when we are in the course 76 batch in sandeep ne so somji called me and said uh that day was a you didn't have sanskrit that day so after the morning class he called me and said see there is this uh, guy who is handing over a check do you know this office where it is i said yeah somji i know where it is it is in town easy how will you go if you have, if you have to go somji i'll hop into a bus to vikroli from there take a train straight down and from vt station is 5 minutes walk that's it so you know the i said of course i am a bombay man i know the area very well so can you go and come back in time for lunch of course it will take me an hour one hour 15 minutes to reach 10 15 minutes in his office one hour 15 minutes back so okay so 3 3 and a half hours i'm back no okay please go pick up this check and come i'm calling him up and telling him you're coming i said okay because those days courier services were not there okay <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about 1976 in india okay <laughs> we fast courier service etc was not there <laughs> yeah. i mean the post goes through through to where god knows <laughs> so one of my batchmates said Hey, Ramon, you're going. I'm also coming with you. Is it come? Morning hours, eh? Trains will be crowded. Be ready for that. Okay. Ha ha! I'm ready. So we are in our white kurta, kurta and dhoti, and we went. And we walked into this guy's office. So he welcomed us. Ah, oh, you're coming from Swami Dayanand ji. Please sit down. Please sit down. have a cup of tea. So, chai pia. I think he gave the check. We thanked him. He came. Coming out, this man is saying, "Look at those guys and look at us." I said, "Kya ho gaya? Look at how smartly they are dressed." I said, "Yeah, they are executives. They will be dressed smartly. Look at us. We are sadhus. We will be like this only." <laughs> That also not sadhus or teaching and thing. We have sadhus, we have students, brahmacharis. <laughs> we have students. Yeah. So the only ironing we'll do our clothes is fold it and put it under the pillow. <laughs> That is ironing of clothes. <laughs> Now it is different. That's a different thing. When the ashram is still the same. Those of you have been with me to the Rishikesh Ashram, you see how the boys are dressed. Simple. So what is wrong? We are like that. Yar, doesn't feel nice, you know, when we walk into the office like that. I said, what is to be nice or not nice? They are dressed for the job they are doing. We are dressed for the job we are doing. No, yar, it is not like that. I felt very embarrassed about myself. As a champ, to take a guy, this life is not meant for you. Of course not. Why? I understand everything. I said I know you understand. There is nothing wrong here. Something wrong here. <laughs> you are not yet ready. <laughs> Emotionally, you are not yet ready. No, 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 no. I am ready. So after the course got over, Pooja Samji found different places for us to go and study and things like that. He asked me all Samji what Samji I actually prefer to go to Rishikesh study some more, huh? Good, <laughs> I'll fix that up for you. So this person, Samji sent Central India, where a businessman wanted someone to sit, stay in his house and take classes. 
and the businessman had three good looking daughters no son so in one year's time this guy fell in love with the eldest daughter and got married to her <laughs> and the businessman is very happy he got a nice boy i had no hair this guy has got nobody <laughs> and he is interested in the business and everything <laughs> we all have discussions <laughs> nice <laughs> So I met him after that. I said, "Champion, bola tha na, tu tikega na." Are you are right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm still keeping in touch. I said, "Yeah, that's good. Take a class. You run his business. Everything you do, you make money, but keep one class going. He'll help you. Uh, he's doing well. He's fine. Now he's ready. <laughs> Now he's ready." but now he doesn't feel the need for it why because once you once you gained the knowledge what is the need for it once you are settled down the knowledge is settled down in what different does it make yeah what different does it make whether you wear the robes don't wear the robes really what different does it make what different does it make whether i am teaching in this robes or in a three piece suit Really, does it make a difference? I wouldn't like to wear a three-piece suit. You know why? Bombay weather is too hot here. This itself is too hot. <laughs> But with a fan, this is manageable. <laughs> If global warming becomes more, my kurta may disappear. Just an upavastra. <laughs> this is how sadhus tackle things. Okay. <laughs> Are you getting what I am saying? Are you emotionally ready for it? Responsibility wise ready for it? Commitment wise ready for it? So internal commitments, responsibilities. That's why nobody will justify Buddha. What Buddha did. We'll accept what Buddha did, but nobody will justify it. Why he left his newborn child and walked away, na? <laughs> yeah, Yashoda had the whole royal support system. Therefore, it is acceptable, but not you can't justify it. What you want? Was Buddha ready for it? Yeah, intellectually, emotionally, he was ready for it. Externally, no. Yeah. There is a Maharashtrian saint like that, who had wife and kids, and walked away and didn't tell his guru that he was a married man and took sannyasa. And then the wife went and said, "What? What happened to me? He has not taken my permission to take sannyasa. Nor has he told you he is married." The guru sent him back. and that guy had a lot of problems in society because those days societies were traditional and he had four kids all of them became saints in maharashtra mukta bai and you know eknath mukta bai <coughs> yeah so that is why lokesh men divida anishta two lifestyles yeah Okay. Now he is bringing out nuances. I gave you the big picture. Now the nuances are seen. Na karma nam anaram bhena naish karma purushoshnute nascha sannyasa na deva siddhim samadhi gacchati. न कर्मनाम अनारंभेन पुरुषा नैष्कर्म्यम अनुष्णुते अश्नुते बाय नॉट डूइंग एक्शंस यू विल नॉट अटेन द स्टेट ऑफ नैष्कर्म्यम व्हाट इज नैष्कर्म्यम इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड इन फैक्ट देयर इज अ बुक 
written by Shankara's student Sureshwaracharya called Naishkarmi Siddhi, the achievement of Naishkarmiya. That will be the text I'll do after Brahma Sutras. Okay. <laughs> In the Sunday class, I will do the Brahma Sutras next. After that, we will go into Naishkarma Siddhi. So, what is Naishkarma? The state of being free from all karmas. Doing karmas, receiving karmas, both. Doing action and receiving the result of an action, you are free from both of them. Otherwise called Atmanishta, to be rooted in your own true nature. Moksha is another name. They were just by not doing, I've taken sannyasa, now I won't do any of those actions. You will not going to gain Naishkarmiyam by that. By just ceasing doing an activity, yeah, 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 how will you gain Naishkarmiyam? You will not gain Naishkarmiyam. Just by cessation of activity. Because you think this thing comes because people look of karma as a bondage. Why? It is true. Karma, karma phala. To enjoy their karma phala, janma. Therefore, punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. Because any karma you are going to do, any janma you are going to do karma. That lead to more karmas. More karmas will go on. Chakkar chalu hui hai. Ananta yatra. <laughs> go I, I will stop all activity. By stopping, where are you going to... What about all the things standing in your account? Therefore, by mere cessation of activities, you don't gain naishkarmiya. In fact, you will have the sin of omission no? that you are supposed to do certain things and you didn't do it. You will be held accountable for that. That you are supposed to do so many things and you didn't do. Your duties have not been done. There is direction of duty. Yeah, what about that? That's Papa Karma. Yeah. You have a child, you are supposed to nurture that child. You didn't. That's Papa Karma added to you. Yeah. You are supposed to take, do something for the nation, you didn't. Papa Karma. Supposed to do something for your family, you didn't. Yeah. So, those type of things will be there. Yeah, by not doing. Okay. Nacha sanyasanad eva siddhim samadhi gachati. No, Samaji, I will do it properly, formally. I am not just this thing. I will call the Pandita. The Pandita I will call and do the Viraja Homam and formally take sannyasa. I will announce it on Facebook also. <laughs> People have done that. You know. Today is supposed to be the anniversary of the day he took it. So that anniversary also is announced on Facebook. Very popular guy. I remember when I went to take sannyasa and Rishikesh. I had just announced in the class, I am going to Rishikesh for Shivratri. That's it. So three, four people suspected. And they landed up there. Four, five people. Nobody else. Because you are not supposed to make an announcement. It is not a big thing in that sense. It is a big thing, but it is not a social activity. And there was another guy from Gujarat who was taking sannyasa. He had made a big announcement about it and 30 people landed up there. Swamiji fired him left, right and center. What do you think this is a marriage or what? <laughs> you are not getting married. You are taking sannyasa. Yeah. Look at how he has come. There are barely five people there. <laughs> That's how you are supposed to go. Yeah. Why? Because this is between you and your Guru. In fact, when you are taking sannyasa, there is no, supposed to be nobody around. Only you and your Guru and the people who are taking sannyasa. That's all. 
and if there are one or two other sannyasis they can be around as support <laughs> nothing else all right so i am taking sannyasa properly all right you took sannyasa shade of your hair this that etc all the proper vidhivat okay you gave abhayam to the whole creation you gave abhayam to the gods everything you have given the mantra all that prashna mantra etc you have given fine so you took all right lenia the act of renunciation you did do you gain moksha with that just by an action are you going to gain moksha in fact na karma na <laughs> not by karma the act of sanyasa is not going to give you moksha knowledge is what is going to give you moksha sanyasa stands for a pursuit of knowledge therefore two types of sanyasa are there vividisha sanyasa vaitum ichcha vividisha the desire to know so because your desire to know is so strong in you your mukshatvam is strong jignasa is strong you burn your boats and you go no return i will do or die whatever it takes to gain knowledge i will do vividisha sanyasa or vidvat sanyasa after you already gained the knowledge just a confirmation yeah because you are following a tradition yeah you are following a tradition yeah so both are meant for the first one is meant for pursuit of moksha the other is you already gained knowledge you are living in freedom it doesn't matter whether you take the robes or not in fact that's the best way to take sanyasa why when it doesn't matter and you take it you will continue with it <laughs> you will not feel main mahatma ban gaya abhi main maharaj hu therefore i have to behave different revade revade <laughs> you normal as anyone else why dk yaar because you already in that therefore by merely an action of that viraja homa etc you are not going to gain moksha that's a formal way of doing it why is it necessary to do it that way because the veda enjoins action to you right through from birth to death you enjoined an action therefore the same veda that has enjoined action for you should release you from it so i formally give up my rights and my responsibilities rights are also given up the world owes you nothing samjhi but we have a right for going on bhiksha na bhiksha is a privilege given to you people give it give you bhiksha be grateful if they don't fine yeah but don't you feel beggarly if you are a jignasu you won't feel beggarly if you are not you will there is another guru bhai of mine i am telling you all the story so you understand what sanyasa is properly so this guy said hey, you are living on bhikshan rishikesh i said yeah i would also like to come to bhiksha with you i said okay we'll go to the kshetra here there is a smirk not a kamandalu a what in south you call it tuku patram <laughs> it's a vessel with a handle no so what is this for that is container for your rot- dal roti everything whatever they give you take it in that in one vessel i said yeah in one yeah. all in one 
So you go. So naturally in the Kshetra, there is a little bit of a line. You're standing in the line. Okay. He told me, hey, you go, you go. Okay. As first, you're standing behind. Suddenly I'm hearing some. I look back. What happened? Tears. And he's wiping it off. I said, what happened to you? I'm reminding of my mother how lovingly she used to give me food. And here I'm standing in a line. <laughs> I'm feeling beggarly. He said, Tu bhi tike ga nahi. <laughs> you also will not last in this lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not being judgmental. I'm just being evaluative, okay? I'm pressing it, presenting it as a fun thing. And he had lived this life for eight years. Six years in Shivananda Ashram, two, three years our course, nine years. After that, this happened. I said, you will not last, okay? And it is better if you don't. Go, live a normal life. You need love and affection in your life. You can't say you're free from the need for love and nurturance. See, love and nurturance, everyone enjoys. Who doesn't enjoy? Somebody loving you and nurturing you. You're a human being. Everybody will enjoy it. But do you have the need for it? If you have the need for it, sannyasa is not meant for you because you may not get it. <clears throat> may get it. Somebody would have so many students, they'll take care of things, no? Yeah, I think some of them at least will. <laughs> I know that some of them will not. <laughs> That's okay, that's fine, because there's no need for it. Yeah. Nurturance and love, if it is there, good. If it is not there, fine. You are all love anyway. Hey, ananda in a relationship is nothing but love or kya. But if you have the need for it, sannyasa life is not meant for you. Like this guy also. I only encourage him, go, get married, settle down. You need that love and affection. He's got a wonderful daughter. Yeah. Very caring wife. Wonderful daughter. So can you see that emotional mindset? When you have it, you think you don't need it. Because you have it. There's a safety thing in the background, no? If you don't need, really don't need it, yeah, then you're ready for sannyasa. It is not that you won't enjoy it if you get it. Eh? Of course you will. You're a human being. Yeah. Someone behaves nicely, kindly to you, of course you'll like it. Yeah. You can even be touched by it. Like I told you the story. An old lady calling me across from the road. Beta, one minute either. I said, okay, okay. No. I said, ha maaji, I thought she wanted to cross the road. Ha maaji, kya chahiye aapko? Nahi beta, bhoot thand hai. And she sees me in a dhoti and an upavastra munne. Bhoot thand hai. Ek chai pee le na. She gives me one rupee. She's a poor lady from the village. But that is an action of care. So naturally you feel nice about it. You feel touched by it. That this lady cared enough for a stranger. Complete, total stranger. I don't know her from... Uh, she doesn't know me from Adam. <laughs> so, of course, you'll like it. You'll feel nice about it. Do you need it? If you need it, sannyasa is not meant for you. You have to grow out of the need for it. Do you feel good about it? Of course, you feel good. Why? You're still a human being. You're not become inhuman because of sannyasa. <laughs> Sannyasa is not about being inhuman, but it is about being totally independent of the need for all these things. Once you have that, then you are fine. But that is a state of knowledge. Moksha is achieved only by knowledge, not by mere refraining from karma or taking on the robes. <coughs> doesn't work that way. Okay. 
So with this, you just started that. You just started the chapter by introducing this. Okay. There is still more nuances to it, including about sannyasa, etc. Okay. Yeah. Then the question is whether, as a human being, you can achieve naishkarmiyam without knowledge. Is it possible? That he discusses in the next verse. But that we will see in the next class. I think next class also we can have. It's not an issue. But the class after that will be Diwali time. So we'll have the next class. But not the one after that. Okay. Yeah. So next class will be on as usual. Okay. Good place to stop. Om Tat Sat. Thank you.